This week's topic is a little bit of a sensitive one, but also one that's very important. Um, many of you, if you take a journalism class and go on to journalism in college, and maybe even dapple in a little bit afterwards, um, will find yourself at one point or time or another needing to write an obituary. So this week we're going to talk about two different types of obituaries, and we're going to practice writing each of them. First, let's start with what is an obituary. It's a tribute to a deceased person that appears in the newspaper. It announces the person's death. And it chronicles the accomplishments of the person throughout their life. It focuses on the impact the person had on their family and friends. How is an obituary written? Well, it's written in short one to two sentence paragraphs. It begins with the person's full name, age, place of birth, and place of death. And it also includes the names of their parents, spouse, children, their education, where they may have gone to high school or college, their employments, especially if they were employed in one place for a very long term period of time, a church affiliation, any place they, um, where they attended church, and if, they were any, if they did anything special at their church, and any hobbies of importance to them. It would also include information about their funeral and any services that will be held. This is one way for families to let friends um, and distant relatives know that a person has died and that a service will be held. Here's an example of an obituary. Um, if you will look, we start out with the person's name, Violet G. Newcomer, her age, 76, where she was, the date she passed away, July 16, 2012, where and where. Then we go into her birth and who her parents were. The next paragraph, which is a little bit longer, focuses on um, the fact that she was a graduate of Carla High School and that she was a homemaker and that she was retired. It also talks about her other affiliation. She was part of the Eagles Lady Auxiliary um, and some of her hobbies. The next paragraph goes into who she is survived by, her relatives who are still living. This is one way that when you're reading an obituary, if you didn't know a person's mother or grandmother, but you see their name there, you would know, oh, well, maybe I should send a card or maybe I should send flowers. And that's kind of what that part is for. Um, at the end, you'll see her funeral services. It says where they're, when they're going to be held, where they're going to be held, um, who's going to be the officiant, and whether or not there will be a viewing and, and a burial. Okay, so this is an example of a pretty straightforward obituary. This is the same format that many of them will follow. Some advice for you when you are writing your own obituary this week. Find one that's very simple, or use the one on the previous page, um, and just put your own information into those slots. Obituaries are not creative writing projects. They follow a specific format, and if you look in your local paper, they are all laid out very much the same. They're really to be a very short chronicle of what this person's life was like, not their uh, biography. The second type of obituary that we're going to look at this week is what we call an advanced obituary. Many newspapers across the country, including the New York Times, Washington Post, have entire departments dedicated to writing and updating celebrity obituaries just in case of an unexpected death. Um, I can assure you that there are newspapers across the country that, ha up that have and update an obituary for President Obama on a daily or weekly basis, um, as well as your high-profile celebrities like just Justin Bieber and... Um, uh, well, pick just about anyone, Jack Nicholson, all of those, those actors, Tom Cruise, they have obituaries because if something were to happen and these people were to pass away, they would be, want to be one of the first to be able to put an obituary into their next newspaper. Um, and writing a good advanced obituary takes lots of time, writing an obituary for a celebrity because of the sheer um, prominence of them and their accomplishments, and you want something that's complete. Many local newspapers write advanced, advanced obituaries for people of local importance. So mayors, uh, superintendents of schools maybe, or uh, governors, those kinds of people. Their obituaries are also written in advance and edited as necessary. 
Advanced obituaries are often much longer than average obituaries because of the person's accomplishments and prominence and because the death of a celebrity is also seen as a news story. Um, they're constantly being rewritten. As new things are accomplished, they are edited and changed. And they require a lot of research and accuracy. You do not want to be the newspaper who print, prints something wrong about a high celebrity, high profile celebrity um, person when they die. Your assignment this week for the direct instruction is to find an obituary in your local paper. Simply submit the link in the submission box for this assignment. That's the first part. In second, find an obitu obituary that was most likely written as an advance obituary. Answer the question, give me the link, and answer the question, why would this person warrant an advance obituary? And this should not be, um, the second one shouldn't be very hard to do. Uh, there's been some recent deaths that should make it uh, fairly easy. If you have any questions about this week's work, please uh, feel free to send me an email and let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you, and have a great week.